Hello and welcome to another photo speed tutorial video. Today what I'm going to be looking at is the media configuration tool on Canon printers. Now this is a really useful tool to allow us to put our own media types into the printer itself and display the driver settings in actually when we come to select the media type in the printer. So instead of selecting a Canon semi-gloss or a luster or their matte photo paper or heavyweight fine art, what we can actually select is the paper we are using because we've named it and it's a custom paper. So we can select smooth cotton or photo speed, um, platinum gloss art fiber or the brighter. We can select that within the driver. So it makes our life a little bit easier. Also, what we can do is we can fine tune the paper as well. So do feed adjustments on there so we can eliminate banding. We can decide on the ink level that it lays down on the paper as well. And we can also, if we want to, assign a profile. So that will be embedded in the printer. So we can just print with printer manages colors and it uses that profile that's embedded within the media type. Now I'm gonna take you through how to do all this. So first thing what we need to do is we need to download the media configuration tool from the Canon website and we need to open it up on our desktop. So let's do that. Okay, so first thing we need to do is just load up the media configuration tool. Now we can download this from the Canon website um, and it's under their support section and software and downloads. Now, when we click on the icon and run it, what it will do is it will first of all, just have a look to see if there's any printers on our system, which hopefully it will pick up my Pro 1000 here, which it has. And then what we can do is we just select that because that is the printer we're gonna be editing. Now, if you have multiple printers in here, it will list them all for you so you can just select the printer you're going to be editing. So I'm just going to click OK. And now what it will do is just check the media information. So it will communicate with the printer, communicate with the software, and just make sure they're synced up and now they are ready to create a custom paper type for us. The next thing it will do is just to ask us if we want to check for any media information that Canon have updated on their website. Um, I always say yes, check now, just so we've got the latest information on the printer when it comes to media types. It usually takes about 30 seconds just to update this. Um, actually, it's going a bit quicker today, but we just get the latest information and if there's any media types they've added and updated anything. We're just so we're all up to date and we've got the best information we can on our printer as well. Okay, so the next box up here says add media information. We're not going to be adding anything at this point, so I just click cancel within this box. Okay, so now we're ready. So we've got the box up here and we have all the options and media types as you'll see down here. Now on the left hand side we have the paper category it's called. So in here we have our plain papers, our photo papers. Now these are exactly the same as those drop down menus you have within your printer driver um, and, and also listed on the printer itself. So you'll see all these here. What I have here though is a paper category called custom. Now in here I have some photo speed papers listed. Now these are papers I've created before and have as a uh, custom paper type within here. So this is where in the custom menu, this is the same on your printer as well and in the driver, we will have a custom menu in here, which is where they're stored. Now across the top here, we have a few options. Um, so we can search for printers. These are about adding information to the printer and you can also export it as a file as well, the media information so you can transfer it between systems. And there's, there's a backup there and then we can copy the media information as well. What we're interested in though, is a little menu, almost at the middle, um, called custom paper types. Now we can add a custom paper type, which is this first one with the plus, or we can edit one. So we can always go back in and re-edit these at any point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a custom paper type to this. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign. Now it's gonna just come up with this box again to create custom paper, it says at the top. Now underneath, 
very similar. It kind of tells you, kind of very, very step by step this process. So it's really kind of user friendly, I think, piece of software. So it just says a select a media information you would like to use as the base for creating your paper type. So we're going to be creating a custom paper type. So we do need to just select a paper type that we can use as that base type for us. Okay. Today I'm going to be creating a custom paper type for the smooth cotton, which I don't have in my list. So for that, I go down to fine art papers and I'm going to just click on. So I'm going to use the matte black ink here. You can see the black ink is matte there. So I'm going to be using the heavyweight fine art as my base media type. And then what I'm going to do, just make sure I've selected that and then click next. Okay, and it tells me, yep, heavy art paper has been selected. Perf. So now the next box that pops up is going to be create your paper name. Put in your paper name here. So on the operation panel and in the printer driver. So I'm going to put in smooth cotton in here. And then also on the driver name, I'm going to put smooth cotton as well. And then I'm just going to click next. Okay, now it's going to search for the printers again, just so it can find the Pro 1000. And now what I'm going to do is it's just going to update the media information on the printer for us. So I'm going to click execute. Now what it's going to do is just put that name in the custom panel for us. So this will allow us to be able to select that media type on the printer. Okay, so that is done. And now it comes up with a box and says, would you like to edit this media type? And we say yes. Okay, so now we have another menu pop up. But before we do this, I just want to show you, let me just get this out of the way over here. Now you can see here in my list, under my customs, you can actually see Smooth Cotton listed. And if I go to my printer panel now, we can see that Smooth Cotton is available as a media type on our printer as well. And it is just in name at the minute. It's, use, it's still using the heavyweight fine art as its base media type. We haven't done any customization to that as yet. Now, the first thing we can do for customization is we can do a feed adjustment on it. Now, this is really useful. So this alters the speed in which the paper moves through the printer. So if you ever see any banding on the printer and you've done a nozzle check, and that's absolutely fine. Usually I would say to do a feed, a paper feed adjustment on the printer, especially with fine art papers and the heavier papers. Well, this will customize the speed in which the paper moves through the printer. Okay, so we're just gonna do one of those now. So we just click on paper feed adjustment. Now we're gonna be using, I'm gonna use the rear tray, the top tray, um, and we're gonna print it on A4. As you'll see in a second, um, when I print this, it will just print a few gray lines on a piece of paper and it automatically measures those and makes the adjustment within our media for us. Okay, so let me just put some paper in and then we can get printing on that. Now I'm ready to print the feed adjustment now. I've just put in the right paper and I've also selected the smooth cotton option on the printer as well. So I'm just gonna click okay and it comes up with a message to say it can take up to 10 minutes. It doesn't, it takes a few minutes just to print this off, probably three minutes. So I'm just gonna click yes to start printing and then we'll print our feed adjustment. Okay, so now our feed adjustment has completed. We can just start to move along the other little tabs at the top here. So in here, we've got advanced uh, printing, which we can select a dry time in here. I usually leave it as off, to be honest. Uh, the next one along, we have ink usage. So we can get it to print a test print. Um, and then we can use just the standard. To be honest, I usually keep it on standard. So the paper thickness and the head height as well, um, it normally defaults to standard. I think if I was using paper at like 300 gram, I'd be tempted just to put it on medium to high. However, again, it probably would be something I'd wanna just test. So if I was seeing any head strike on the paper, 
this is where we could go in and just edit that and we could pop it up to high just so we get get rid of those points where the head's touching the paper if we're getting any um, ink on the corners or anything like that at all. Okay, the next one along is calibration target. Now, this is um, something that Canon puts into their printers. It's a very basic um, kind of scanner to determine if the colors are correct, are, are correct and printing correctly. So I usually don't do this. I usually just decide, just leave this because we've got custom profiles and things which will do a far better job than this. The other thing what we can do in here is under the menu ICC profile is we can actually assign an ICC profile to this paper and that will be embedded in the paper type in the printer. So instead of selecting the profile within the software, we can select printer manages colors and then print in that way and it will use the profile that's embedded in the printer as well. Now, I usually, personally, I usually don't do this just because it's a bit more fiddly if the profile goes wrong or it slips a little bit and I want to update the profile, then it's a little bit more fiddly to go through this whole procedure and redo the paper type and things and edit it all than just selecting a different profile in, in your chosen software. So I usually don't do that. However, now we've finished, if you have assigned profiles in here, that's absolutely fine. So now that we've finished, what we need to do is just click update and then it will search for the printers again and it will just update all that information, the paper feed adjustment, the head height information, the ink densities, if we've assigned profiles or not. And it will just put that all into the printer's own hard drive. It just comes up with this little message here. We just click execute and it will send all that information across to the printer for us. Now, the next thing it will probably prompt us to do is it will prompt us to say, do we want to save this as a file? Because we can actually save this as an A1X file um, from Canon. So I just click yes. And just to save it, I'm just going to pop it on the desktop here. Now, the next thing we need to do once we've set everything up and we've gone through all the, the little tabs at the top there, is we need just to update this information to the driver. Now, this can be done through the print utility of the printer. So what I need to do on a Mac is just go into my system preferences, click on printers and scanners, and then click on options and supplies, and then utility. On a PC, this will be the same. It'll just be called the print utility, and we just need to open that for us. Now in here, I'm looking for media information. And if I click update in this window here, just click OK. It will now update that media information. It will tell, her, tell me there's an update available and it will just prompt me to pop in a password, which I just pop in, and then it will just update the media information. Now, I believe on the PC, the media configuration will prompt you to do this as well. So a little bit of a bonus there if you're on a Windows system. Um, on a Mac though, it's always best just to go into your system preferences and click on this update media and it will just update it for you. So there we have it. We've now created a new paper type. Now, when we go into our media type and our media information within the printer here, we should have now a custom menu. And in here you can see I have all my paper types set up. So we just set up smooth cotton and we can just use this as a media type as normal. Well, well, I hope that's been useful. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, if you have any questions at all, just drop us an email or just put it in the comments at the bottom. But thanks for watching.